Hey, my name is Phil and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a tool called EngageBay. And in this EngageBay review, I wanna share with you exactly what EngageBay is, how it works, and by the end of this video, you should know if EngageBay is right for you. Now, just to let you know, there is a link in the description if you wanna get started with EngageBay. It is free to get started. However, there are some upgraded plans if you require it, but watch this video so you know if the tool is right for you. Now, first of all, what is EngageBay? Well, oh, EngageBay is is an all-in-one marketing tool that pretty much competes with the big boys with the low price budget. Now, the thing I love about EngageBay is if you run your own business, this tool can have all of the tools that you require inside of your business from CRM to email marketing to list development to landing pages to pop-ups to web analytics to everything that you could possibly think of in one house and the good thing about that is you can actually interconnect everything you can see the activity for each particular lead that you have inside of your business and from there you can make the right decisions based on what they do so engage bay is a perfect sort of solution for any type of online marketing or sales business so if you are looking for a platform stick around because this is going to be a good one so what i'm going to do right now is actually jump behind the screen and show you engage bay Okay, so here we are first off on the EngageBay website. Basically what I wanna do here is just touch first on the different features that EngageBay has. This video is not gonna cover each individual feature as it would be an extremely long video, um, but I just wanted to sort of point out my favorite ones and then I'll show you a few other bits and pieces. So first of all, if we scroll down, you're gonna see things like automation, email broadcast, email sequencing, landing pages, as well as proposals, web analytics, A-B split testing, you've got workflows, you've got team management, SMS broadcast. You've also got things like live chat, push notifications, social suite, which basically means you can hook all your social media up to it in one place. And there's all of these different things, things like forms, calendars. It's literally so many different features. And you'd think the quality would be diminished having this many features, but it really isn't. It's a, it's a very powerful tool. So I was extremely impressed. I'm not gonna go over every single tool uh, when I finally get in the dashboard, but I just wanted to show you what they have. And also, I'm I'm just going to quickly go over the engage bay pricing reason being is they're extremely affordable versus their competitors you can start at zero dollars to even get the all-in-one package and basically what it's going to allow you to do is get all the basic sort of tools email marketing autoresponders all that sort of good stuff if you however want things like landing pages sms marketing all that sort of good stuff you're going to need to upgrade to the basic i think most lucrative for me would be the growth as you can have marketing automation which i push in every single business that i try to run is marketing automation that's how you can scale um and you can do all these other different types of things like custom domains and calls and all that sort of stuff inside of here as well. Now you can just choose specific parts of Engage Bay depending on what your needs are. If you're just into marketing, you can start with the marketing package, it's slightly cheaper. Same with CRM and Sales Bay. If you don't do marketing, you just do sales. Same thing goes there. For me personally, I would probably still get the all-in-one. I just like having access to everything. Now, if you're uh, wondering to yourself, you know, who is like engage bay well it's sort of going against companies like active campaign if you look at their pricing you'll know how much higher that is as well as hubspot agile crm which is significantly more as well as infusionsoft so these are some of the big brands they're going up against but as you can see they're getting loads of awards right so let's get stuck into it so here is my dashboard that I've actually just logged into. And this is obviously a test account because I wanted to show you the tools. I'm not gonna show you my actual business data or else that would be very bad indeed. But basically once you first get stuck in here, you will notice on the top left there are three or four tabs, the marketing, the sales, the service, and the live chat. Now marketing is as it sounds, the marketing hub inside here. You can do things like manage your contacts, your forms. Um, I love it because you can actually create your own pop-up forms in here, which is gonna automatically add to your contacts you've also got your own landing pages and you've got video and email templates then you've also got things like email broadcast sms broadcast sequencing automations which is my favorite and workflows and then to top it off if that's not enough features you've also got your social suite file repository you've got push notifications which is those little things on the website when they come up as well as a few other features here so let's just say if this isn't enough marketing tools to get your business running i'm not sure what is but there is more than enough to go through now when you first get started there is a little bit of onboarding sequence here so as you can see i've gone ahead and copied the 
we, uh, the code from EngageBay and added it to my website. Basically, what it's going to do is track people as they enter your website, which is nice and good. Then you can start adding your context, send your first broadcast, all that sort of good stuff. I was very surprised how well the email deliverability was as well once I did the test. Um, so that was very good indeed. So just to show you quickly what each tab sort of does, I'm not going to go through too many, but marketing, I believe, is going to be probably the biggest one for people. So I will show you these particular um, these particular tabs, different features. So if I come to contacts, as you can see, I've got a few uh, made up contacts inside of here. For example, Frank Tank and Bob Dylan. But if I click on one of them, let's just see, this is what your back end is going to show up like, right? And as you can see, I've been doing a few bits of activities with Frank the Tank, um, getting him ready. So you can actually manually score him where you want to be which is really nice and as you can see his email is listed which is really good if you click on that it's going to actually open up a fresh email for him and you've also got other things here like you can duplicate the contact you can create a deal if you have a deal for creating you can also create a task add a note create an event or create a ticket now inside here in the service tab is the ticketing section where you can actually have a uh, place where people can put in their own tickets and you can go back and forth from there you'll get emails and you can keep track of everything the great thing I love about engage bay as you can see all of these different features or touch points from these different clients running down through here right so let's just say i wanted to add a quick note and i said um you know coffee is uh, penciled in for friday right so that's the subject same thing um, frank says friday at joe's cafe is good right i can press submit and then as you can see right at the top the note has been put in there so it's just keeping a nice timeline of all the engagements that you have with your clients so every time you talk to them come in here quickly um, you can go into each individual one if you want throw in the information and boom it's going to add it to the timeline where you can continuously go back and have a look how things are going now as you can see you can also add deals emails all those sort of things products um, you can add doc documents so you can upload your own documents if you have like you know forms and things that you want them to send out um, you've also got things like calls and sms functionality that you can actually use inside of there if that's what you want to do also web analytics you can see what pages of yours he's been looking at you can also create events all of his tickets the chats and the form submissions so there's loads of different things that you can do for this particular product right so that is just contacts you can have a look at lists as well if you want you can segment your own lists you can put your contacts inside of the list it's very very very, very cool so that's basically uh the gist of it of the contacts it's so so powerful just that little piece uh, but what i'm going to show you now quickly is the forms i think the forms is amazing because you can just embed these on your websites right um, so i've already created a test form i'll just go ahead and create another one quickly so you can see how it works so basically you've got four different sort of places where it can be as you can see we've got the pop-up in the middle you've got the notify bar at the top you've also got the bottom left and then the bottom right so i'm going to choose pop-up um, it looks pretty bare and blank right now now, but don't worry it doesn't turn out like that so what i'm going to do is carry on this little sequencing right here um i might actually just leave it i'll put a little bit of information here like um uh, add your email to get the best updates exclusive to your inbox right something like that go to themes you can choose the type of theme that you want i personally like this one that's why it's selected but you can go ahead and choose one if you want um, so I'm going to go to design now and see what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with everything, right? It's pretty straightforward. Um, it looks a little bit funky when you're creating this, but don't worry. It's absolutely fine. And settings, finally, once it's done, it looks good. You can also add your autoresponders directly inside of here as well, which I think is amazing. So it can save time. Just get it done. And if you want to redirect to a specific thank you page after they've put in their information, you can also do that inside of here. Now it's going to show you how many people uh, and the, the people's information that have actually gone through that particular form so wherever it is on your website you can see where they are looking as well so i'm going to go ahead click save and i'm going to go ahead and just have a quick preview of it just so you can see how it uh, sort of looks and as you can see it is here obviously it's just full of uh, basic text at the moment um, but if you put in your email here it'll go straight to the pop-up form um, into the contacts tab so that's absolutely incredible very happy with it so i'm going to go ahead and close that and that is the pop-up form section now the good part about this too is if you want to add pop-ups to your own landing pages which we're going to quickly go over now you can also add them directly once you've created the form first keep that in mind if you're going to use the landing pages so here we are on the landing pages 
Images tab, you can see I've already created a quick one. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you basically what they are. Um, so we've got a load of different templates inside of here already that you can quickly go and edit, or you can go ahead and create your own one from scratch. For this example, I'm just going to choose this one here and show you what it looks like once it loads. Um, it's very speedy to load as well. It's not like a slow type thing. But as you can see on the left, we've got here blocks. Um, so we've already got pre-made blocks you can drag and drop onto there, or we have content. Um, so we've got all these different types of elements that you can drag and drop into here. And on the right, we've got all the styling and the properties to get going. Now, just to give you an idea of how you can add in a pop-up really quickly, um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this button and click delete. And on the content, I'm just gonna drag in the pop-up module like so, right? You can change the name, you can change the label and everything, right? So it's like get your um, free audit or whatever it might be here like I'm just doing this for testing purposes here right I can drag it out make it look a little bit nicer I can make the text bigger and all that sort of stuff if I want but what we can do once we get it is pop up properties just choose the one that you want so I'm going to choose the one I just created go ahead click save I'm going to call this the test 2 um, because it's a test right and then I'm going to go ahead and preview this page and as you can see, quick and easy, click on the button and voila, there is the pop-up. So you can see how easy it is. Um, they've really made it nice and simple inside of Engage Bay to do this type of thing. Now there are also emails with uh, email templates, video templates. So if you want to create your own video or email, it's entirely up to you. Uh, I'll show you quickly the templates inside of here. I don't want to keep you too long in this video as it is a extensively big tool. So on the left, we've got general which has got uh, 10 or so different templates we've also got e-commerce which has got multiple more different types of templates we've also got events and celebrations so there's plenty out there and then there's also the option to code your own um, on the plan that i am i can't have that access unfortunately but that's cool so you can go ahead and carry on it's the same editor as before so it's nice and easy now same thing goes for campaigns I'm just going to skip ahead straight to the workflows and automations tabs because that's what I'm all about is automation and workflow. So what I'm going to do is start one for just say sending follow-up emails because it's probably going to be the most common for a lot of people. So I'm going to go ahead, click continue. And in a few moments, you will see a fresh automation uh, template ready to go. So this one, uh, you go up the top and name it. So I'm going to call this the uh, tester v2, right? And then what you can do in here is each time someone comes into this, you can add a tag to them. You can put delays. You can send emails. You can send more delays, more emails. There's so many different things. If I click on the plus, you've also got all of your different actions and conditions. You can add in things like CRMs, the tickets, like developers, conditions. So you can see like depending on what your business model is, you can start choosing different ways where your people can actually go through your automation workflow if you've got a very good brain of how you can actually see the grand picture of how your business is going to run as soon as someone comes through this this is going to be your bread and butter because you can integrate and automate so many different processes in one roof right normally if it's just an email marketing company you can only do emails normally if it's just a crm company you can only do crms but this takes everything into one house and you can make this thing as long as you like it's probably the most exciting feature i think of uh, engage bay for me that's for sure so that's basically it you can start adding things left right you can drag them up and down it's very fluid which i really love um, so i'm going to go ahead and click save and basically that's what I'm just going to show you on the marketing. As you can see, it's such a huge topic. Um, so what I'm going to quickly do here is show you the sales. Uh, I'm not going to spend too long on the sales because everyone sort of understands how their business runs. So as long as you see the beginning of it, you'll understand how it works. Once again, if I go to contacts, you can see there is uh, a few contacts in here already there's the contacts like are in the marketing section if we go inside the marketing there's all the information so we can carry on where we were now if i go inside the deals tab inside here you can see we have got like a kanban sort of um sort of tracking thing we can go through so you can drag people along as they go through the different processes so what i'll do is i'll quickly create a new deal called the test deal v2 um, i'm just going to leave most of these things as um as blank I will put in a value of a thousand dollars though and click save and as you can see it goes straight to the new tab and then we can drag it along as the prospect goes and the great thing about it is once you click on the particular deal then you can start adding more activities to it and notes and contacts and tasks events 
all of that sort of good stuff you can even put the documents inside of here so everything is kept in one perfectly tidy house right it's so so powerful um i wish i had this when i first started out in my agency so now we'll quickly go to tasks just to show you how it goes here it's basically another type of kanban that you can actually have um you can have all your tasks on the left drag them along as you go it's very good if you have your own team inside it as well because your team can do their own sort of um, bits and pieces you can uh, assign them to different people as well so it's really good next we have the automation tab once again automation is one of my favorite things so if you are the marketing or automation person inside of your business let your little brain go crazy for this thing it's absolutely a beast so what i'll do from start to finish is just show you how it works so i'll just call this auto 3 just for uh, sake of time once it is loaded then what we can do is start our automation so let's just say i've got a new deal created um, i could just say new deal like so new deal right add that event what's going to happen is it's added here now let's just say i want to add something what i can do is let's just say i want to add a task as soon as this happens i could go here and press add new task and the task could be um call for coffee catch up something like that um, and you can come down choose an owner so i'm just going to choose myself press add condition and then i connect the two so what's going to happen as soon as a new deal is created this is going to engage now obviously you want to customize it to however your business works but that is there you can also do things like uh, add to new people you could send an email you could even have an entire workflow that you add people to so you can make this thing as big or as small as you want literally it is massive right so you can just keep adding things let's just say we want to add a delay once we've done that of a week once again drag it below connect the two things and guess what it is working so i'm going to go ahead and click save that's all good to go and that is the automation uh sort of section you can make it as big as small as you want now we have the calendar that you can quickly come through if you want to basically all of the tasks that have dates on them will appear here which is nice you can add things like you know coffee dates um, you can add things like expiries all that sort of good stuff and then finally on the right with the three dots if that hasn't got enough features for you already we've also got things like appointments mail file repository workflow sequences you've got a trash bin as well as activities and you've got some new tools that have just been released so that is crazy last of all before we close off this video as there's so many features we've got to the service tab now the service tab is actually where all your live tickets are going to handle right so i've already come through i've already tested a few things but basically what happens once you've set it up is each time that you have a uh, a sort of ticket or a sort of thing that you want to do with people you can quickly come to your tickets tab and you can resolve them right so let's just say i wanted to add a new ticket um this ticket could be to whatever it could be me sending a ticket to a client or a client sending a ticket to me um whatever it might be you could just add all the details in here and then every time that someone is going to go back and forth you'll get an email and if you click on it once again you can see the activity of how it's going as you can see this was my test Hey Phil, did you see the email I sent about uh, reviewing a product called Engage Bay? Yeah, I did. What a cool tool, right? Have fun with the video. And now you can change the statuses uh, as well for every ticket. So it's literally an all-in-one tool. You've got also things like your views, your automations. So if you want to do sort of certain automations, if people send certain tickets, like you can add people, all that sort of good stuff. We've also got macros, which I haven't actually looked into. And you've also got things like settings and your file repository, once again, trash and activities. So that's pretty much it. I haven't really gone into the live chat uh, section yet but you've got things like the conversations chat widgets chat forms shortcut settings and you've also got your file repository here i haven't played around with it so i'm not going to cover it but i'm sure there's more than enough features that i've gone through in this video so what i'm going to do right now jump behind the camera once again i just want to talk about a few extra things Whew, okay so that was engage bay as you can see oh my god this tool has got so many features inside of it and it is basically putting all of the separate tools that you would normally have to have inside of a business and putting them in one and as you can see at the very beginning of this video when we went through the pricing it is extremely affordable especially if you are currently having multiple subscriptions to multiple different tools so that was engage bay i hope you have liked it for me this tool is revolutionary it's pretty much taken on the big players in the market so i'm very very stoked with it i personally am going to use it a lot more within my digital uh, marketing agency just because everything is kept in-house and you can literally send emails from within the platform as well as sms create dates calendars you can integrate it with zero and all of your other uh, integration platforms as well absolutely incredible 
Okay guys, that was Engage Bay. I hope you have enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a long one, but man, what a powerful tool, right? So if you want to get started with Engage Bay, there is a link in the description. You can go ahead and get started with the free plan. You're still going to get loads of tools from the free uh, membership, which is absolutely great. As for me, I'm going to work with the growth plan. Reason being, it has got all of the automation features that I love with online marketing and business. So growth is the best plan for me. However, if you did like this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and if you haven't yet make sure you hit the subscribe button that's it from me hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next one